Hi, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Welcome to today's video. In just a moment, we're going to go over 10 of my favorite cheap aquatic fragrances. And when I say cheap, I mean really, really inexpensive. Your Aqua de Joe, your Blue de Chanel, it can carry that same kind of vibe, but you don't have to pay that top dollar to get it. So when we return, we're going to go over those 10 aquatic fragrances, that and more. So stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. In today's video, I put together my top 10 cheap aquatic fragrances, and what I mean by cheap, they had to be 25 bucks or less. That omits a large chunk of quality aquatic fragrances out there, but that's okay. If you're looking for a solid quality aquatic scent at a fraction of the cost of the big boys, this is the list for you. It is a top 10 list, so we're gonna jump right to it with our number 10. Our number 10 cheap aquatic fragrance came out in 2019. I was a little reticent about Hollister Wave at first, but I definitely became a fan of it, so I wanted to check out Hollister Wave 2, and I am impressed. It is overall an improvement. This cool little bottle features a nice gradient, and it is $9.99 for a 30 ml bottle. The top features an Aerocord, it's got uh, white pepper and bergamot. Featuring lavender water, it's got sage and geranium in the heart. Resting on a base of sandalwood, musk, and some woods, some woody notes. Super refreshing. That air cord lends it a light, airy feel to it with that slightly sweet and fruity opening. This performs at least in the open and in the heart, similar to an eau de parfum. You might be surprised, but that power is like a bright shining star. It burns out relatively quickly, and once it burns out, it's somewhat of a skin scent, but it's definitely worth 10 bucks. But again, you'll want to definitely reapply it multiple times because you're not going to get a lot of life out of it. Hollister Wave 2. Taking my number nine spot of cheap aquatic fragrances is just the opposite. This one lasts and lasts. It also came out in 2019. Davidoff Cool Water Intense is an aquatic wonder. Of course, Anique Minardo is the nose behind this. Features green mandarin orange in the top. It's got a really nice coconut water heart to it, resting on a base of amber. And that mixture is extremely tropical. It's got a slight synthetic edge to it, but in that dry down, it's extremely enjoyable and it lasts and lasts. Again, you're gonna get a good eight plus hours out of this, and that's why I've got a small bottle. It is an eau de parfum concentration, and it acts like an eau de parfum. This one, again, is, it goes and goes. The wonderful thing about Davidoff's Cool Water Intense, couple of applications, two or three sprays to the chest area, and one on each arm, you are good for eight hours plus. This one is a fantastic performer. Now, of course, you can get this in a larger size, but I picked the 40 mil size because of its convenience, the size of it, it's easier to carry with you, though you really don't need to reapply this one, plus it's cheaper. You can get this for the 40 mil bottle for under 16 bucks, it's like 15.58. Davidoff's Cool Water Intense. Taking my number eight spot in this top 10 of cheap aquatic fragrances by now is an iconic classic fragrance for men. Right, Nautica Voyage. Maurice Rossell is the nose behind this fragrance. I really enjoy this one. Now, a lot of people say this smells synthetic, and it does a little bit, but what can you expect for less than $18 for a 100 ml bottle? That is extremely cheap, but it is a long-lasting, classic-smelling fragrance. As an aquatic, it works really, really well. The top of it is an interesting mix of apple and slightly vegetal green leaves. You've got a floral heart with lotus and mimosa, resting on a base of amber, moss, musk, and cedar. It's such a good performing fragrance for being such a subtle scent. It's got the characteristics of a pleasing yesteryear aquatic fragrance. It's a very pleasant look back on 2006 in an aquatic way. And again, extremely cheap, extremely affordable, less than 20 bucks. You can get it right around 17, 18 dollars. That's Nautica Voyage. Taking my number seven spot is a fragrance that originally I didn't care for too much. It had to grow on me a little bit and now I really enjoy it. It is from Tommy Hilfiger. It came out in 2019. Into the Surf has got some interesting price points. Like if you look online, you, you'll find this for 80 bucks, you'll find it for 30 bucks, 
40, 50. I mean, it's crazy. It's like they can't settle on a particular price, but you can actually get this for $24.95. You've got cardamom and bitter orange in the top. You've got ginger, white pepper, violet, and clary sage in its heart. You've got vetiver and ebony wood or dark wood in the base. When you first spray it on, it gives you kind of a brisk, cool cypress sensation. And for a beach fragrance, that's really, really different for an aquatic. And when that dries off, you get a little bit of the aquatic start working in there and start taking effect. It is a refreshing, invigorating, and revitalizing fragrance for a cheapie. It's really surprising how much I like this, and I think you'll really like it too. Tommy Hill figures into the surf. Taking the number six spot is a fragrance that first was released in a trio of fragrances by Azaro. Azaro Solarissimo Maritimo. That's a lot of words to basically describe a really fresh aquatic fragrance. It features top notes of Italian lemon, you've got citron and mint, the aquatic aroma chemical called Calypsone in the heart along with a uh, Haitian vetiver, resting in a base of Atlas Cedar and Cistus. I really like the simplistic style of Maritimo. You can get the 75 ml bottle for less than 17 bucks or right at like 16.96. Doesn't come across as cheap. It's got decent performance. I would say average to moderate performance, but a really, really good aquatic profile. That scent is wonderful. And I highly recommend Solarissimo Maritimo. All right, guys, we're down to our top five aquatic cheapies and Alberto Maria is the creator of this particular fragrance. It came out in 2014. It is from the design house of Salvatore Ferragamo. Most people are getting these at rack stores at under 20 bucks. This is a 50 ml bottle. Right now you can get a 50 ml bottle at a discounter for right around $15, which is a steal. You've got cardamom, lemon, bergamot, peridisone, which is an aroma chemical in the top. Another aromatic aquatic synthetic is cascalone or cascalone. You've got that with atlas cedar, cipriol, and lavender in the heart, resting on a base of benzoin, ambroxan, tonka bean, and patchouli. I will say this, there's something about Aqua Essential Blue that lends itself to being slightly sophisticated. I'm going like that because I mean dress up. So you can actually wear this in upscale environments as well as wearing it casually. You want to sport that feeling that you just jumped out of the shower and you, you have that vitality and freshness that the shower brings you. Your fragrance is like a shower in suspended animation. That's what your that's what a really good aquatic fragrance does for you, mentally and physically. And Aqua Essential Blue, my number five. Taking my number four spot was a little bit of a struggle because it also is a Salvatore Ferragamo. Deciding which made five and which made number four was really hard, but I like this one just a bit better than I do Aqua Essential Blue. Free Time did come out in 2011 by the nose of Olivier Polge, featuring top notes of lemon and pink pepper with heart notes of cardamom, ginger, and aquatic or marine notes, marine meaning briny or salty, resting on a base of vetiver, cedar wood, and musk. This is a great combination. It opens very fruity, lemony, so you get a burst of citruses in the open, and then that citrus aquatic kind of morphs into a more sea salt aquatic in the heart. A light sweetness in there delegates that aquatic into a more woodsy, musky base, and that's where it stays. Slightly sophisticated, so this can also be dressed up, but you can get a 100 ml bottle of this for $24.27, so less than 25 bucks. Sometimes you can find free time at a rack store for less than that and I would say grab it up because you're gonna really enjoy how fresh this fragrance is it is one of those underrated gems and that's why it's made my number four spot Salvatore Ferragamo F Coron free time taking home the number three spot is a scent that comes out every year there is a new summer edition and this is the 2020 edition Sporting that sea breeze green and blue CK1 Summer is a fantastic 
fragrance for aquatics and fruit juices. Of course, it was released in 2020. The nose behind the fragrance is Laurent Le Grenet, who makes some fantastic, iconic fragrances. Right up top, we get ginger, you got mandarin orange, and sea salt. In the heart, you've got a spicy sage and a really bright green dune grass. Resting on a base that is creamy, warm, and sweet, it is sandalwood, amber, and benzoin. I'll be honest with you, I had this fragrance as my number one for a while before I switched it up because I really enjoyed this. Each iteration of summer is an enjoyable one. Um, they are unisex, so they can be worn by everyone. This is a fantastic addition, but it is my number three because the performance of this fragrance is just average, but it does a really good job. While it lasts, it, it projects a little bit better than last year's. This one is a little bit more beachy, fruity. I really enjoy this addition, and that's why CK1 Summer 2020 Edition takes my number three spot. Taking my number two spot is a surprise entry. It also is a 2020 release. Jupe, or as some would say, Yupe. Yupe Om Ice is a fantastic fragrance. It is a new release, which surprises me. I, I wasn't expecting a lot out of this, but it is a wonderful fragrance. Originally, I didn't really care for Jupe, the original, uh, Jupe Om, but uh, this actually has that DNA, and it actually carries that DNA a lot better than the OG does, I think. Plus, it adds some interesting components. You've got that warm and cold uh, contrast as well. You've got bergamot, grapefruit, plum, and clary sage in the top, orange blossom, cardamom, and that little bit of tobacco in the heart and it's resting on that single base of that creamy sandalwood. When I smell this I literally envision in my mind this smells like a tall glass of cold something like a really cold drink. This to me smells like the way ice would smell if ice were transposed into a you know from a physical form into a scent form. That's at the epicenter of the idea behind a concept fragrance. You can get a 120 ml bottle for 22 bucks, so less than 25 bucks. And to me, this smells like a very expensive fragrance. I really, really enjoy Jupe or Jupe Om Ice, and that's why it's my number two spot. All right, guys, we're down to our number one top cheap aquatic fragrance for men, bringing it home. It's such a good fragrance. It's such a solid performer, not only in the way that the fragrance carries itself when you're wearing it, how inexpensive it is. You can get a 100 ml bottle for it right around $24, and sometimes you can even find it cheaper than that. So what happens when you take grapefruit and green apple, which is one of my favorite notes, and violet and add them together, will you come out with the top that's this? That open is so bright in, in its own way aquatic. What do you think of when you bite into an, a nice juicy apple? Well, there you go, juicy, I gave it away. You think of aquatics, you think of that juice just bursting at the seams with a, a juice, and that's what this is like in the open. But it doesn't seem to mellow in the heart at all. You've got that Egyptian basil, you've got aquatic or sea notes, in the heart as well as a nice fresh mint. Resting on a base of Haitian vetiver and cypress. And I do like that atomizer. You've got a green little reticule there that's easy to see and just wonderful to use. Ah, oh, it's so refreshing. It's so manly and masculine and yet classy at the same time. This is one of those, again, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, casual, upscale, doesn't matter. Year round, doesn't matter. Signature scent absolutely cheap absolutely and it ticks all those boxes and that's why it's my number one spot my top cheap aquatic fragrance for men same splash less cash I hope you enjoyed today's top 10 cheapy aquatic fragrances or scents for men. If you have any experience with any of these, let me know what your experience is like in the comments below. And if you feel like I missed some or some should be on this list, let me know that as well. Just keep in mind, they gotta be under 25 bucks to qualify for these underrated hidden and I think all of these are underrated hidden gems thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video as always thank you so much for your support on my channel I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow mm -hmm.